back to the channel. I am ready to get that back wall uh, tiled and ready to go. I have cut uh, the two initial tiles for it uh, that I need to get it started. I'm not putting a ledger down on this one because I'm starting on the base and I'll have some shims under it and we're just going to go up the wall. I'm just going to go up the wall with it. Um, I am going to do something different on that uh, back there as I told you. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the layout on how I'm going to do that, um, but uh, it should be interesting. So at least I kind of think it's going to be interesting. So uh, let's get uh, in there and uh, get started. All right, guys. So I can't guarantee you're going to see a ton of action here because, I mean, we're basically stuck in this back wall right here. So this shower area for showing tile and stuff is pretty hard to do. So how about we just... Think about skipping to the end. So that's it on the tiling part of it. I've got to let it set up overnight and then I'll go in and I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, grout in, get it done. Um, I'm going to do something a little different on the grouting part of it. Nothing like extremely different. I'm just going to do it on the clockwise side of setting it up um, with caulk and stuff like that. I'll explain that when I get into it. Um, so, it's tiled. Thank God for small favors. Um, uh, I am going to get cleaned up and uh, enjoy the rest of my evening. That's what I'm going to do. So, uh, we'll see you here shortly when we get ready to do the uh, grouting tomorrow. Okay, so, I've got a slight, very slight issue. Um, when I was putting these on, the tiles on, especially this back wall here. Um, I was actually using a uh, leftover spacer that I had broken off this piece right here to kind of space and then bump it up just a little bit uh, to kind of cheat the tile just a touch in order to get everything back level. I was putting a, a torpedo level on just making sure the tiles were stacking up straight and weren't off. So I put one of those in there and, uh, yeah, I forgot to pull it out a little ways in order to keep it from sticking in the mortar. So, yeah, let's just take a look. So I have been trying to dig that little guy out every which way possible that I could possibly do it in order to get it out. So... I only have one real solution. My real solution is a Metabo with a tile cutting saw on it. I am thinking about a thin blade, but this works perfect in between the tiles. I just have to remember and be careful with is not to bump up, bump down too much. That way I don't tear up the tile. I have a, uh, I think it's a 250 grit uh, glass sanding block for the tile that I smoothed out all the edges to. So I should still be okay when I do it, but I guess we'll find out as soon as I do it because I've never had this problem before. I was like panicked, man. I thought I was going to tear up tile on that one. Oh, how do you like my new pair of safety glasses that I have? Uh, but uh, yeah, uber, uber, uber excited about how that turned out. Um, so now I can clean up and get the rest of it uh, ready, prep for uh, grout. All right, gang. So there's a couple of things that I will kind of want to go over with you before we get going into the uh, grouting of that wall. Mostly because I'm waiting for my battery to charge for my drill so I can mix it. Uh, but I will be again using uh, Mape's uh, Ultra Color uh, Plus. Uh, what this is, is it's actually a substitute for a sanded or unsanded grout. 
and goes directly to this. This also has the <coughs> uh, sealer in it as well. Now this is rapid setting. Take rapid setting with a grain of salt. Uh, it's not going to set five minutes after you get done but it does start setting itself within about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the temperature of your room that you're working in so uh, take that in consideration when you're picking your grout basically what this is designed to do is get you the ability to start walking on the grout or on the tile um, earlier rather than later on most grouts I think most grouts are about 24 hours typically before you can start walking on it. This is about half the time or around 16 hours, give or take, depending on the temperature of the room. Uh, if you are new to tiling, um, if you've never grouted or anything like that, you can still use this, just don't dilly dally around. Uh, meaning that uh, once it starts setting, once it starts setting on that tile, it starts to get harder and harder to clean off so just pay attention to how long you're going before you start cleaning off that tile on the wall or on the floor um, if it completely sets you're gonna be scrubbing really 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 hard or you could be digging up your tile so just pay attention to that um, I do like this stuff I mean I don't see a big difference in this and the sanded or unsanded um, so just keep that in mind. Now, also just know that most Lowe's, I don't know about all of them, but the one that I have here, you cannot get the sanded bag of grout in the uh, in this poundage here. So you only get in a 25 pound bag versus the, I think this is a 10 or 15, 10 pound bag. Yeah, it's right there. I just have to read the label. Um, so pay attention to that. They still do sell the sanded and they sell this. So uh, just be prepared for whatever you're going to do there. And finally, if I can pick that up, this is the mortar I use. This is a large format mortar. Um, there are a variety of mortars that you can choose from. Uh, uh, obviously, you can get ceramic, which I don't suggest unless you're doing ceramic tile. And even then, I don't suggest you using ceramic on ceramic tile because I just don't think it's very good. Um, there's actual porcelain, large format. There's uh, stone. Uh, format tile things like that pretty much anything in the large format is designed for floor or and you can use wall too um, I am using this right here on the wall as well uh, it will dry it will set just like regular you know porcelain will um, one thing that I do suggest that you stay away from is pre-mixed mortar um, for whatever reason, I don't know why the premium stuff, it just doesn't dry uh, very well. Apparently, uh, from a few people that I've talked to, guys that are tiling, uh, for some reason it just doesn't dry and they've had issues with it. And if you read the bucket, it says, do not use this with uh, Mape's uh, Aqua Defense. So a lot of times they're using it with Mape Aqua Defense and they're having a problem. So I've, had, I've, I've talked to several people like that. And it does state that on the on the um, bucket as well. So I'm not a big proponent of pre-mixed stuff. I'd rather mix it myself to get the density that I want, uh, whether it's a little bit drier or a little bit wetter, depending on what application I'm going to be using. Ah, it's almost too thin. Too thin. Yeah, that's on my good socks. in my head Some deep shots are cycling on 
all around me and I feel so sad running in, running in and don't feel running in and feel free running in, running in Expecting next catastrophe, yeah. Running me, running me, running me, no, running me, running me, running me, running me, running me. I'm so afraid. What's coming next? So afraid. What's coming next? Next catastrophe, or what is it? Running me. Get out and be free, run in me, no more end of fear, run in me, get out and feel free, run in me, run in me, run in me, yeah. Run in me. As you can see how how quickly it's drying, that's how quick this stuff really starts to set up in it. So um, I'm just going to kind of stand back on this camera and let it roll because I've got to get this stuff going. Otherwise I'll be in trouble.
He'll push you around Cause what could you say? And some will endorse him If only we found a way to win And lock him up He's peddling back birds As we're pushing our way back through this world should say the one thing that you want to try to do is the least of is going like with this one being here going across it without being at a say a 45 or right on the edge right here and going sideways as much as possible so that way you're not digging into that grout line sometimes you just don't have that uh, that uh, chance to do it and you don't have much of a choice so you end up having to do a little bit more work on it than what you want to but overall that's basically what you're doing um, this side is basically ready I can start looking at uh, at uh, uh, taking water to it and getting the uh, getting the grout off the tile and stuff like that um, so that's what we're gonna do next and I'll just kind of go over that briefly with you most of people should know pretty much how to do that and then uh, we'll close her out okay so I'm gonna start getting a sponge out and start going over this it may take one time may take two times may take three uh, you definitely want to wait in between while you're doing it so that way the grout has time to kind of repack itself absorb it and then just start to dry itself because if you do too much water you can actually make it runny so I've done that before on accident so um, yeah so the camera's going to be back here um, you'll see some of it I'll try to do my best to kind of talk to you while I'm doing it as well but um, since it's such a small area it's really hard to see everything anyway okay. 
So this is just a standard grout sponge and I have a dehazer on the other side of it that's supposed to take the hazing off of the grout when you're doing it. Uh, it seemed to work on the floor when I did it pretty well so we're just going to stick with it. When you're in this, you can start kind of shaping your line a little bit on your grout. Uh, be very careful and cautious when you're doing it because it's really easy to just dig through it. Really easy to dig through it. You don't want it to have to go back and uh, redo it. Because if you go back and redo it, you're probably going to get a grout... Uh, hand grinder and grind it out and regrout it so just be aware of what it is you're doing and you should be okay all right shower is done everything is caulked everything is grouted um the uh, shower head is in the handle is in all looks well uh, I have uh, a little bit of stuff to do on the outside edge there to do, but other than that, it's ready to roll. Alright everybody, it is done, it is over with. This part of the, the uh, project is done. Shower stall is in, tiled, floor is in, everything's in. I am a happy, happy guy. I'm glad to be done with this part. The rest of it should go without any issues. Of course, you know how that works. As soon as I say it, I'm going to be in trouble with it. So, hey, I'd really like to say thank you to everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and uh, give me a like. Get those YouTube, YouTube algorithms going. That way, um, I can be found. I want to be found. Find me. No, uh, really, anyway, uh, again, thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, this part's done. The rest of it's all downhill from here. And we'll be able to knock it out pretty quick. Talk to you all later.